let's quickly go through how we have implemented communication and data transfer via MQTT with the MQTT library of Hadea. First an overview of the state. The actual shown project is created via TIA version 15.1. In this project a PLC S7-1500 and an HMI are created. To set up an MQTT communication you have to go to the libraries, global libraries and open the library MQTT real time process data communication. This library is the one that helps in establishing the connection between the MQTT publisher and the broker. The publisher here is the S7 and the broker is the PC. In this library all the data blocks and the PLC types required can be found. To use them you have to drag and drop them into your project. Drag the MQTT PLC type into the PLC data types of your program. The rest of the folders can be imported into the program blocks, also the folders in the master copies. The programs that are required are MQTT FBs, MQTT DBs and the random test data. They can also be dragged and dropped. Now all the needed blocks and types are in the project independent of the library. These blocks need to be connected in a way that can secure us a binding that enables a communication. Let's start building the blocks and activate them to establish a connection. To start the communication via MQTT, open the main OB1 and create a single instance. The configuration of the interfaces, PLC program blocks and the HMI connection have already been implemented earlier. Drag the function block MQTT FB to MQTT FB1 into the main. This block does the whole MQTT communication. The input the PLC tag represents the send message. There you can put the database that shall be sent. For the data included in the data sets, you need a defined structure. In our case, we use the given random test data and the test transfer data and DB contains nearly all the TIA data types. The structure of this data looks like the following. We got a structure called type series structs which where the data type ID and the variable ID are contained. The variable ID is an ongoing incrementing number to separate the individual data. The data type is defined in a way that each data type is aligned to a numeric value that can be found in the spreadsheet located on the server. There we can see which data type number defines what data type. This structure have to be maintained. To send the random test data or any other data set, drag the DB test transfer data to the input of the MQTT FB and add the tags for the data set. The test data FB counts them up to create some change in the data. To count the test data up, drag the test data FB into the network 2 of the main OB1. To get the cyclic message sent, you need to call the MQTT FB1 twice with the same instance that was used earlier to create a connection. Now that we have set what needs to be sent through MQTT and how are they sent. Next up, compile the project to make sure that you get no errors. While it compiles, we will look how each PLC tag is sent and identified. Each PLC tag is pointed with two bits of data, one bit for identifying the data type and the other bit for identifying the label. The setup for sending the data is finished. Now we can set up the MQTT HMI to control the communication between the MQTT publisher and the MQTT broker. Open the HMI and drag from the library MQTT real-time process data communication in the MQTT HMI front picture. First the template, second the front picture. Make sure the MQTT HMI picture is defined as the start screen. Compile the HMI program, make sure there are no failures. Now we are finished. To show the communication, we first load the PLC program, then we simulate the HMI to control the MQTT application. There are some very needed parameters for the communications to be established. The interface on which the PLC communicates via MQTT, the topic name, the publisher PLC port, the broker IP address, the broker port and the enable start the MQTT button. In our case, we use our engineering station as the broker, so we have to add the ESP IP in the broker field. The PLC is connected over the Profinet interface 1.
now we have to start the subscriber therefore we use the mosquito as the subscriber program in the background the mosquito broker is working to establish the connection we connect we sign in the topic we use and press subscribe now we get back to our HMI to enable the MQTT communication. The MQTT and TCP established get screen to show that the communication is working and the MQTT effects we see the data sets are received. To control and modify the parameters of the program you do not need the HMI. This can also be done via the TR portal. Navigate through the TR project, PLC program blocks, MQTT DBs, LMQTT data there are all the parameters are shown simulations has to be started and the project goes online now the changes in the portal are reflected online any modification change or alterations can be seen in the live manner when there is a parameter change in the profinet type using the HMI that can be seen from the hardware tag by this way all the tags from the topic can be seen and manipulated this is all about the establishing and communication between the PLC, the HMI and the MQTT. Now that you can see all the variables and, and they are incrementing upwards and they are sent. This is how the entire MQTT communication is working and this is how we have implemented it. Thank you.